Every time you watch porn, you buy into the lie that it will fulfill you. Every time you watch porn, you are growing more and more desensitized to sexual violence. Every time you watch porn, you are feeding into the sexual exploitation of people. Every time you watch porn, you are rebelling against God's design for sexual fulfillment only taking place within marriage. Every time you watch porn, there doesn't have to be a next time. If you've watched America's Got Talent recently, you'll have seen Terry Crews. He's a guy, he's actually very outspoken about his faith, but he's the host of America's Got Talent. In 2018, he shared what almost destroyed not only his faith, but also his marriage. He had a pornography addiction. This is what Terry Crews had to say. My problem with pornography is that it changes the way you think about people. People become objects, people become body parts, and things to be used rather than people to be loved. You start to change the way you see people. You start to use people. The biggest addiction of our generation is not alcohol, it's not drugs, it's pornography. 40 million Americans admit that they regularly visit porn sites and those are just the people that admit it. I'm in Canada and that just accounts for people in the United States, the ones that admit it. So can you imagine the number that it actually is? This is a widespread problem, even throughout the church. Pastor Craig Groeschel did a sermon series on this topic called The Porn Battle Plan. In one of his sermons, he shares something that I really want you to hear. Jesus said this, Sounds crazy, but he said, if you look lustfully at a person, you've already committed adultery in your heart. He said, if your right eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Dear God, was he being literal. I hope not. Can you imagine you walk into work, you see another guy, he's got a patch on an eye. <laughs> and so do you, you're like, Christian, yeah, Christian, yeah, yeah. What he's saying is, take this seriously, warriors. This can sideline you. It changes the way you think. It distorts what's real. It poisons what's pure. It objectifies people. It dishonors God. And it robs you of what you really, really want, which is intimacy, not just sexually, but relationally and spiritually. That last part is so important to understand. You see, we're looking into pornography for certain things that it cannot give us. It cannot give us connection. It cannot give us fulfillment. It cannot give us any of those things, but the lie is, is that it will, but it never delivers. It always leaves us empty and void of the connection that we so desperately need because ultimately what our soul longs for is connection with God. And pornography is something that separates us from God. All sin separates us from God. The problem is, is that we continue to fall and dive into sin. We rebel against God when we turn to these cheap substitutes. So what we need to do, we need to turn to God in repentance. Say, God, I don't want this anymore. I don't want this in my life anymore. Repentance is this idea of turning away of, from what you once knew and moving in a new direction. But we can only move in that direction through the power of God. We need God. And through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, we can be forgiven of those things, of every single thing we've done. So all that guilt, all that shame that really makes this massive weight on our shoulders that we carry day to day, that can be put on Jesus because not only is he strong enough to take that, but he has already sacrificed himself, taking the full weight of the world's sin on himself. And what do we, where is our move in this? We just say, God, I trust you. I trust you. I want to live for you. Terry Crews' story didn't end in pornography addiction. He was able to break free from it with the help of a community, Christian community that was helping him and just a relationship with God, the power of God in his life that makes it that we can break free from these chains. But if we just rely on ourselves to do it, man, we're gonna fall short every single time. Every time you watch porn, there doesn't have to be a next time.